Well, it's 8.07. Hey, Elise. Yeah? Even CTV is on the case here. What? Yes, yes. That great reporter, the not a cub reporter, uh-huh. a hot reporter. Ooh. Oh, she's it so hot. It must be Colleen Christie. Right. It is Colleen Christie. <laughs> Hi. I, when I heard cub reporter, I thought, oh, do not go to cougar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd never do that. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Well, we're uh, it's just a bag of emotion right here today. It's in my last show. I can't believe it. What's happening? Oh, I'm, why? I'm heartbroken. Uh, absolutely heartbroken. Um, you know what? I remember the day I met you. I bet you don't. Joe Fortes. You see, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good guess. Oh, no. Oh. Um, no, you came and did a remote. At our morning show at CTV, we were down, back in those days, we were down broadcasting in the atrium of our building on uh, Robson and Burrard, and you were there doing a remote, and I thought, oh my goodness, I was new to Vancouver, this was 1997, I thought, oh my God, bro Jake's in the house, this this could get crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Gee, that's a long time ago, yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm thinking it's a family show, we don't have a three second delay, I don't don't know how this is going to go. I thought it went pretty well. It went great. (laughs) Yeah. You know, because I am a professional. I mean, you know, no matter what management thinks, I am... Hey, who's crying back there? Uh, okay. There's one of the management people are starting to whine right now. Uh, you know what, Colleen? There's a, there's a big fan of yours here every time he's in town. Oh. Gary Busey is in the control room, and he loves you. And I, I, I think... Are you st- are you a single girl, right? I am a single girl. G- um, Gary Busey, anything? I, I have to tell you, when I watch this woman uh, apply her craft, I am absolutely uh, mesmerized. As I, as I sit in my hotel room, uh, I marvel at the local talent, but especially this lady, because uh, she's so polished, and you can just feel the energy emanating right out of the TV set. And she's the reason I came, part of the reason, the women in Vancouver are so beautiful. And that's why I had to get a full Brazilian wax last night. <laughs> When I apply my craft, that's usually in private. <laughs> oh, hey-o. Hey-o. <laughs> this could this could be a two Viagra night. <laughs> Colleen, he's a big fan. What can I say? Um, I'm I'm honored. <laughs> it's especially uh, great to talk to you, my dear, because I I do watch you. Uh, I watch your station religiously when I am in town, which is quite frequently. I, I have to pass along that I, I, I could truly feel that you're a, a decent human being. And you can feel it emanating through the TV. Oh, that's very sweet. All right, Colleen. I uh, want to thank you for giving me a little ring dang diggly do there. You know, I'm, I'm going to miss you terribly. I'll All still be around. Waves, but you're going to be around. I will. I will. Okay. I'm going to be somewhere else that I can't announce right now. Okay. Please okay. stop drinking. <laughs> Please stop drinking now. Take his glass Colleen, away. I am the secret keeper. <laughs> A couple more sips of scotch, anything could happen. Well, I wish you nothing but huge success and happiness in the future. Thanks so much. And you too. Thanks, sweetie. Keep knocking them dead. Okay. All right. Take care. There you go. What a lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a lady. Hey. Gary. Gary. You know, there's a reason that a I get two a full Viagra break. night. <laughs> totally How would you, your head would blow up? No, well, that's, How do you, a, that's you the take purpose, it, Jake. I know, but do you, <laughs> what do you? What do, you <laughs> do you take them one after another, or is it like? No, you you, you have to space them out. I, like what? Every four hours? Yes. Uh, when you get up, I was 68 this year, by the way. So I have to. Two pills. You could take Cialis, but then you know, all day Saturday, you're you're ready for action when you don't need to be. Uh, when you're at the you beach. want it, you want it to you know pull the plunger back and let her go. That's exactly right. And oh. let me just say that people <laughs> people scoff at the full Brazilian body wax, uh, but a good friend of mine once told me you don't eat the turkey with the feathers on. <laughs> and I live by that theory, and it makes me faster in the pool as well. You know, you know what Frenchie says to Joe Fortes. Yes, and he said that to my ninety-year-old uh, uh, aunt. Excuse me, Madame. I don't, if you don't mind me saying, there's a lot more juice in an older chicken. <laughs> well, he's he's so smooth. I don't even want to go around him when yeah. I'm with the ladies. You might it might be a two Viagra night with you and him. <laughs> hey, I mean, you're hairless. Let's go. Let's let's get in the pool. I'm much faster. <laughs> All right.
Uh, this is going to be a crazy show. Second half right now. My family's here. Lori, my wife, my beautiful daughter, Alex, and Zachary is just getting out of bed right now and trying to make it to the studio. Classic Rock 101. Here's Boston. Meet the bro. You're my last break of the day, and for the last few years, well, certainly as long as I've been with you, it's just the best way to launch the rest of my day, because I always come off the show smiling and, oh, good. and in a good mood, and uh, and if you do that to me, I mean, we know you do that to, to just hundreds of thousands of people. Millions, maybe! If I only had two words left to say And I have appreciated the audience, the the listeners, and how they've uh, made a a living for my kids and I, and uh, and my wife, and my dog, my two dogs. Yeah. So I appreciate that. It humbles me every day I think about it. And I'm a very lucky man. Very lucky. Thank you. Thank you for the life you've given me. And I want to let you know that you made me laugh. Thank you. Love you. For sharing all your love and all your dreams. Anyways, I just want to say thank you. And you're just awesome. And I have to say, I heard the brother speak. Thank you. Well, that was uh, nice. Bill? How are you? I'm I'm in total shock. (laughs) Humble? Humble? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Bill, don't, I mean, don't, really. don't spoil a really good moment right now. <laughs> that's Not like, in front of my wife like, and kids. That's like Bill Good is short. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not happening. Uh, well, you and I go back. When I first came here, I mean, you were one of these guys that I looked up to, literally because you're tall, <laughs> and, uh, and inspired me every day to come in because you're still doing it. My wife always says this. You know what, Jake? You're not going anywhere. Take a look at Bill Good. Bill Good is still going, and he's going to work till he's ninety. And I'm going. <laughs> are at you? Least. Are you? Andy Rooney's my hero. Work no, till you're ninety three. Go to hospital and die. <laughs> <laughs> so why? Why the long, long, long time? Don't you want to get out on the beach? No. That beautiful home you have on the island, and no, no. You just want to keep doing it. Yeah. Should I? <laughs> yes. Why? Because you're good at it, and but, people love it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's, uh, but I'd like to take some time off. Oh, good. Have the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm taking the weekend off. Oh, I'm going to the Sunshine Coast. Oh, 135 Ferry back here Monday morning, 7 o'clock. Uh, Bill, it's been a real pleasure working with you, too. I well, mean, seriously, likewise, you, are, you, you are the stuff. you got uh, such talent. People don't know this, but I mean, you come into my office nearly every morning. Yep. We crack up and have a good time. And, uh, and I'm amazed at how many people listen to you and listen to me. Because the shows you'd think are, are very different. I got a great There's a idea. Lot of crossover. And now I'm going to get them all. Oh, yeah. Now I'm getting them all. There what about go. the Bill? What about the Bill and Bro show? Oh, my God. oh something oh, to think about. Bill and Bro show. Marty and I are standing yeah. right here. <laughs> oh, right oh. here. Bill, don't make eye contact with my f- former co-host. Don't even look at them. Well, no, he's, you heard him say he was right there. I, I, I didn't see him. Oh, there. there you are. Oh, there you are. I'm yeah. behind Bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've got work to do. Okay. okay. Okay, well, you go. But I am. In. I'm going to miss you. I don't think you're going to be far away. We will do that lunch. All right. Thanks, Bill. Bill, good. Awesome. Yeah. yeah Bill. There's a there's a there's a legend right there. Wow. Mike, are you, you, you pull the mic down there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you can hear the sound of this coming down. Coming no, you can't. No. Anyway, it used to squeak, but then Marty spit all over it. No, it's fine. <laughs> do you know where we're going next? No, where? We're going to go to Scotland. And we're going to play a few commercials, and Bruce Allen is there, and he's with Michael Buble. They're on tour right now. I don't know if Michael will be around the phone. Probably not, because he works works those big, late shows. But uh, we'll find out. That's coming right up. Good morning, everybody. You know, it was uh, back in the 80s. I worked at Q107. I had a chance to bring Bruce Springsteen on stage. There was 58,000 people there. So I go on, ladies and gentlemen, Q107 presents Bruce Springsteen, the boss! And all of a sudden, this guy 
from behind the curtain rushes out on stage and said, you better put Bruce Allen Entertainment there and get the record label, kid. You got everything wrong. Get back out there and do it again. I went, I can't go back out there. You better get out there right now. I'll kick you in the ass. It was Bruce <laughs> Allen. Hi, Bruce. How are you doing? Do you remember how you humbled me on the stage? Oh, yeah, I thought that. I remember that. It was funny. That was funny. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. I'm sitting down here in Vegas, and the reason I wanted to get a hold of you today, and I, besides being your last day, is you remember, Jake, we were down here in Vegas. Remember we did the IndyCar thing? Do you remember that? Yes, sir. And we went into the Hard Rock Cafe, and there was a, the photo or the picture that you tried to buy, the, the mob picture with, with, the, uh, with, the, with the Rat Pack. Remember that? Or the guys from Ocean's Eleven standing around the crap table, right? That's right. That's and, right. Uh, we are, you, and I asked, you and I asked for the price. The guy said, well, I paid $24,000 for it, so I, of course, went out and got a print somewhere. <laughs> 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 but I think, that yeah, that thing was worth quite a bit of money. So how are you doing? You're on the Buble tour? Yeah, well, I just got back. He's got uh, two more days left in Dublin, by the way. Uh, it's really nice, you know. Nick calls me up and says, "Listen, Bruce, can you be on for two minutes?" I says, "In two minutes." I says, "Yeah." Oh, by the way, you don't have Buble there, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we thought you would. Is he in Vegas? Is he there no, with you? He's in Dublin. He's in Dublin. Yeah, and I hear the show's been going really well. And I know that McRae was out with you, and you guys showed up in London. And McRae yeah. was a mess for five days. Yeah, McCray, uh, McCray went and saw the show. We gave him a good seat, so he got his head blown up. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I think he had, I think he had a real good night. It was nice to see uh, 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 Neil. I hadn't seen him for a while, and his wife, and and it was nice that uh, we could make that happen. So it's kind of cool. Any chance, Bruce, that uh, on my new show that I could get you on? Would you like to be part of that? Um, could you drop I, in, or how much money um, are you? Are you expensive um, or what? Um, what? My problem is, Jake. I'm on. I'm now on eleven stations. Yeah. So I got pretty- <laughs> <laughs> well, get rid of the 11 stations, dude. There's only going to be one. There's going to be a new top dog in town. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll have a talk. We'll have a talk. <laughs> so, by the way, I was thinking about when you were in that car, Jake, and I knew I'd, I'd been in the, in the racing business for a while, and I thought, well, I can kick these guys' ass. And, geez, Jake, you were, you were very, very good in that car. And then I forget, of course, that you did ra- race cars or bikes or something, and the speed didn't bother you. And uh, it, it was a, it, I remember that day because it was a real cool thing to be in that, in that run that car around the track. I know you're following a guy in this and that, but why wouldn't you? And the other day, I, when I was, they had the Indy car races down here two years ago, I came down and I got in a car where you have the back seat with Mario Andretti, and he drives around and just holds it steady at about 180 miles an hour. Wow. And, boy, that's really something, Jake. I, 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 it, was a, it wasn't one of the highlights, though, of one of those trips. Was, it was a tremendous day. Yeah, those Indy cars are something else. I think I got mine up to 165 miles an hour around that little toilet bowl seat uh, oval there. That was a lot that's of fun. Right. That was that's a lot of fun. fun. All right, dude. Well, thanks for popping in. And Well, listen, I just want to wish you all the best, Jake. Uh, it, you've had a hell of a run. You brought a lot of entertainment to the city for years and years and years, and I really appreciate everything that you have been doing. And uh, wherever you go or where you do end up, I know they're going to get the benefit of a great talent. It's going to just go on from there. Uh, thanks a lot. It means a lot to me. Thanks, Bruce. You take care of yourself, Jake. Thank Bye-bye. you, buddy. Bruce Allen. I think he knows. Next oh, time, bring Buble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people think he lives in a house like the Beatles' help, where they all sleep in the same house. <laughs> Him and Buble and Ann Murray and <laughs> Brian, Brian Adams, they're all there together. Well, Buble does have a big, big place down there. I think it's like uh, huge. Like a huge place. I think it's like 10,000 square feet or yeah. something. What? Yeah. How does he's that, got the dough, man. How does that happen with Mike? Because he's... He, remember Michael when we Bublé, met him on the plane? Yeah. He's like the nice... Yeah, we were on a plane together. He was. Com- he, we were coming back from Vegas. He was doing the Jay Leno show, and he was just a, ki- a young kid. He said, yeah. He said, uh, there's my... And the agent was the woman, right? Yeah. His his agent. His it, first agent. I think it was a classic, aw shucks kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. And he just became this huge thing. Wow. I guess that's when good management helps. Yeah. And, and marrying a Maxim model. Oh, is that yeah. what he's done? Yeah, that's yeah. what he's done. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he said, hey, bro, have you seen my new girlfriend? I went, no, where is she? And he hands me the cover of Maxim. <laughs> <laughs> page, that's her right there. Page 12, 16, and 21. Yes. All right, we'll take a break. We're coming back. After some rock and roll, Chris Galis is here. Who? <laughs> Chris Galis. The mountain back there behind you, Mike. He's a big guy. is powered by Maury Nissan, your triple team for the best car buying experience in the entire Lower Mainland. Maury Nissan in Burnaby, Coquitlam, and Moriato.com. Is there a mic tall enough for you, Chris? <laughs> I don't know. I was just going to adjust this. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure. Uh, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. It's good yeah. to be here. I only showed up because I thought Van Halen was going to be here, but... <laughs> 
Slightly disappointed. <laughs> wait, wait, they're disappointed. gonna be here. Oh, are they? Well, oh, yeah. Oh, later. yeah. All the bands oh, are coming. Good. Bruce Springsteen's popping by. <laughs> of course he is. With, yeah. With there's, Bruce there's Allen. Little Van Halen right there. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Drop dead legs, baby. Sweet. Uh, None that's of that Sammy Hagar stuff. Yeah. Uh, Dave Pratt's with us here. Dave, Chris Galis, all in one little out of control room moment here. The trifecta. It is. Truly out of control. Talk about starting early. Wow. <laughs> Where's Dave in Palm Springs? What's going on? Where is he? Or is he at home? Dave is home somewhere running around with his pants around his ankles. Dave? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's comfortable, I say go with it. So there you go. Um, okay, let's talk a little golf here. Uh, Zach Johnson still got a one-shot lead at the British Open. And uh, Tiger Woods, who had a 71 today, par. That's going to be a good score today. Even par is a good score. Man, is that, is that course playing tough at Mirfield. Uh, Lee Westwood had a great day today. Shot 368. He's back in it at 2-under. Uh, Snedeker is at 2-under. Uh, Phil Mickelson just bogeyed again. He's had three bogeys in the front nine. He's, uh, he's two over for the day. Now he's at even. He's five shots back. My guy may, may, may disappoint me before it's over. Projected cut is, is at five right now, plus five, which means Sergio Garcia, uh, Justin Rose, and Rory McIlroy, who's now at 10 over. Wow. Uh, going to miss the cut. That's what money and women will do to you. <laughs> they'll, they'll force you to miss the cut. <laughs> $250 million he got. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's not he's not going to be around for the show. He's not even going to make the cut, which is unbelievable. Uh, we're expecting today or, or on Monday, the NHL will make it official and, and announce their commitments for the uh, 2014 Winter Games in Sochi. We can already start arguing about who should be on Team Canada. Uh, BC Lions, Saturday, big game, uh, Edmonton in town. Don Matthews, Damon Allen are going to be in town. Don's flying in later on today. They will be added to the Wall of Fame. It's going to be very emotional. Two big, big uh, names in the history of this uh, Lions organization. And then again on uh, Saturday, the Vancouver Whitecaps in L.A. to take on the Galaxy. Camilo, I love this. Nine goals in his last seven games. The Caps are as hot as you get in, in Major League Soccer. So it's going to be a great weekend. And you guys have fun. And try to stay out of jail, okay? We'll try. If you get a call <laughs> from Seattle, come down and pick us up, will you? Yeah. Yeah, right. no, I'll send a cab. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Dave Pratt. So, Chris, what's going on with you, buddy? Hey, not much. I've just uh, I've had a lot of time off. It's a t- you know what? You would appreciate this. My dad passed away one week ago today. Oh, oh God. I, I know. Sad. I know. It's, it's sad, and I don't mean to bring the party down, but uh, it's one of those times in the last few days that I've reflected on all the good times I had with him and one of the good stories. And one of the last conversations I had with him was at the... Uh, the car show, the collector car show that yeah, was yeah. down at the PA, yeah, yeah. and they asked a few VIPs, myself included, and you to put to put uh, cars in the show. Yep. And because I was out of town that weekend, he took my old Bronco down there. And uh, so after the show, I said to him, uh, "So what, what was the show like?" And he's like, "Well, I got to be honest with you, son. Uh, of all the uh, of all the cars at the show, yours was by far the roughest." <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you for that honest assessment, Dad. Whose was the best? He said, mm, "I think it was Bro Jake's." <laughs> So I was really, really impressed with your uh, your uh, old ride. He's a great man, and uh, yeah, those good moments, you know. Yeah, good moments. Well, you know, and then you get back on the air, and and uh, it makes it better somehow. Yeah, you that's know, right. Doing what we do is is it makes everything better. You got to get somehow. back in the saddle, right? It's, yeah, uh, it's that simple. And so. that's what I'm planning on doing. Absolutely. I'll be back I in know, the saddle. I'm not, I'm, like I said when I came in here, I'm holding back the tears, bro, because I know <laughs> you're going to be on the air again pretty soon somewhere. Yes, that <laughs> will happen. Where you're appreciated and valued. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Chris Galis, thank you very much, Chris. Hey, it's good to be here, buddy, and uh, good luck in your next endeavor. Thank you very much. I'll we'll have right, to uh, tip some wine soon. I sure hope so. I, I know you like your wine. Bring your hot wife, and I'll bring mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of party are we going to, Chris? <laughs> well, we'll see what <laughs> develops. <laughs> Holy. Uh, Lori, you better bring your hiking boots. <laughs> it's a long climb to the top. <laughs> You're usually down in the valley somewhere. <laughs> All right, it's 843. I want to introduce you to my family who traveled right across the country with me following my dream. As uh, you know, I kind of was kind of selfish, you know, at the start of my dream. I, you know, this is all about my career and so the, for the first half it was that's the way it was because we tried to get to the top and once we got there I got to spend a lot of time with my family and uh, you know we got close just by traveling and I want to thank my wife Lori and my daughter Alex and my son Zachary for showing up here today hi honeys hi 
Hi. Hi. We have daddy issues now. You got, <laughs> daddy, daddy wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> you let me know if I can help yeah. out with that. Yeah. Hey, 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 back up. Where's Chris Galis? Break him like a two by four. Um, I'm going to say uh, 17 years ago, we were in two vehicles driving from Toronto with no job, um, a couple of tents. <laughs> Yeah, we, we had our kitchen tent, which was awesome. Your parents gave us that in New Brunswick. <laughs> we, we were really living in tents. When we had the kitchen tent. I mean, we had the pup tent and the kitchen tent. Yeah. And we had two young kids um, that are now young adults. Uh, and um, it was a pretty amazing ride. Uh, Vancouver welcomed us. Um, oh, no, I'm going to get oh. <laughs> we, uh We shared our lives. Uh, mm -hmm. With you and the listeners shared their lives with us, and Jake overshared our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Which sometimes I just couldn't turn it on because I just didn't want to know. <laughs> but um, through it all, um, you know, we got to spend some amazing time with people um, who shared their stories, who uh, lots of lots and lots of laughs, um, some tears, um, and through it all. It made our lives richer, and uh, it's made the journey really all worthwhile. And uh, I just want to say thank you, uh, and uh, thank you for the amazing years, and, um, and uh, God bless. Thank you, honey. Aww. There's my best friend right there, Lori. <laughs> who, who else wants to hey, step Dad. up to the tear, <laughs> teardrop? Hey, Dad. Hi, Zach. How's it going? Not bad. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah good. Good. No, I just wanted to say I remember, you know, it's, it's you been a long time. He's the most sensitive one. Yeah. So I just remember when we were first here, I was 12 years old and I would be getting comic books in the lobby. And now I'm a 49 year old man who has a family of my own. What? And, you, uh, you got married? It's a whole thing. You don't want to oh get into God. it. Oh my God. You have air. children? Yeah, yeah. I'm a grandfather? It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's You're beautiful 49? Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. We've been here for a while. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, as far as oversharing goes on the radio, I've got my fair share of that as well. Uh, I remember back in high school, dad would make jokes saying that my room smelled weird. <laughs> He'd be like, I think my son's doing something weird in there. And then I would have to come to school, and everyone's like, hey, hey like, yeah, nice weird smelling room, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a lot of laughs. <laughs> It did smell weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it was teen. Yeah, it was, I know it was teen uh, angst. I don't know what it was mixed with, but yeah, it could have been Javix or something. I'm not. I'm sure. just gonna go. I'm just gonna let Alex talk now. Yeah, okay. let's, just, let's just do that. How about that? <laughs> Thanks, son. Yeah. Go Zach. yeah. Hey, Zachy. Yeah. Hello, Faja. All right. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, gosh, I don't know. I'm really overwhelmed, actually. Mom, mom just really brought it. She, that was really good. <laughs> That's usually my role to make everyone cry. Any, like, wedding anniversary or birthday, I walked in and everyone's like, you're going to make everyone cry? And I actually... Um, Is today different? It's, no, <laughs> I've already <laughs> cried. I've shed a lot of tears. Um, my memories of you being on the air are um, in Toronto. And I used to come, because we used to stay at the condo in Toronto, and I used to come on the air. And um, remember, That's Terrible Daddy? Yeah, that was yeah. like the, our line, and yeah. um, waking up early, and I remember being in the Porsche and that new car smell, and you'd be ripping it, and be three thirty a.m. Exne on the ripping it. I mean, what? Exne yeah. on the ripping it there. Just uh, we, slowly that was a code. Driving. Nope, that's right. Slowly, slowly driving. Slowly, yeah. safely driving. Exactly. Were you in a car seat tour <laughs> 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 with your six-year-old. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I mean, this is all I know of you growing up listening to my dad on the air, and I couldn't ask for um, a better father. Oh, um, thanks, you've inspired honey. so many people, and it's just, this is a really, really big day for all of us. Even this is like our close knit family, but everyone in this room is our family for sure. So, oh, thanks. I love you, dad. Well, thanks. I really love you proud. too. Thanks, guys. All right. Aww. That's my family. Yeah. How about that? Woo! Very proud what of you guys. What a family they are. Yeah, very proud of my family. I'm a, I'm a lucky guy. What can I say? Mm -hmm. And my family who uh, listen to the show is uh, is so important to us and how we got through uh, everything. And it's, uh, you know, from everything, from my mom passing away, just to be here, to be amongst friends. It was, uh, it's it's so awesome. It's just, I, I don't deserve it for sure, but I will take it. And there's cake here. There's cake. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's beautiful. Farewell That's to Bill Gates. Bro. And he's got a little mustache. And he's laying back. He's, is that a microphone or a drink in my hand? There's a lot of red a wine. Lot of bottles. A lot of bottles of red wine. <laughs> awesome. Oh, well, look at that. Okay, what are we doing now? Probably traffic. How about some uh, love and touch and squeeze them? Oh. Yeah. Because it's family time right now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to send this out to everybody, my family, love and touch and squeeze in. We're a very huggy family. And to the <laughs> audience, my arms are wrapped around you right now. You make me weak. Classic Rock 101, The Cult, and 3 in front of 9 o'clock. The room is buzzing here today. People are, and I love it, I love the ambience. It's very nice. Everybody eating some Joe Forte's fish. Thank you, Chef. Awesome mm. job. Delicious, and, as uh, usual. Absolutely. The Alaskan king crab oh, is, my oh, God. my God. With that mustard sauce. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of mustard, I guess we should add a little mustard to the show and bring on Neil McRae. What do you think? <laughs> exactly what I think right there. Neil, where, how you doing Neil? there, buddy? Right here. Neil. I'm uh, I'm surprised you called me. Listen to all the nice things people are saying about you. I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice, Neil. We haven't spoken so long on the air, and that's what you come off with. Hey, listen, I don't want to talk to you. Is your wife there? Yeah, my wife's here. Okay, so, Lori, now that you're living with an unemployable bum, <laughs> if you ever need any food or shelter, just call me on the hotline. No problem, Neil. Okay, you're there for me. Great <laughs> way. Can I come to <laughs> London? <laughs> this is, isn't this a nice way to, for your husband to go out? What is it, about 1040 in the morning he's already pissed? <laughs> no, it's three minutes to nine, Neil. Yeah, yeah way, to, way to keep track of the time, Neil. I guess, I, guess I, have, I haven't been drinking vodka as long as I thought I was. <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, just kicking back, doing a lot of traveling, and uh, just kind of, you know, trying to ease into this retirement thing. And, and how's it working? Oh, it's highly overrated, Jake. Why? You'd like to be back here, wouldn't you? I would, I would. But, you know, something's just not right. I should have stayed and you should have left. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. But, you know, the, the, the one thing that I do like is that over the years, how long have you been there? Ten years? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you're not keeping count. Boy, you guys are close. Yeah, we're very close. Shut <laughs> up, Stuckford. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we we sure, we sure did cause a lot of shit, though. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were in trouble with the CRTC a few times. Well, I, for, screw the CRTC. I just love pissing off management. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> surprise! Yeah, just for, what just a for surprise! Shit <laughs> on the air. You know, I, the, the one of the favorite ones though was when I couldn't get a date, and uh, we went on the air, and I arranged uh, to have <laughs> forty women join us at Fraser Downs. Yeah, that was funny. And then you were doing something crazy in the stables. Yeah, no, what, that was a humdinger of a night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I got a guarantee, and unlike that prick Pratt, whose guarantees never come true, I will announce right now and guarantee you that by this time next week, you are going to be where your talent belongs, and you are going to sign a long-term lucrative deal to be the all-night guy at Sea Isle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got me, dude. You got me. How did you know? I, well, you know, you've been trying to keep it a secret, but I thought I'd just uh, throw that one out. Sea Isle. Yep. <laughs> Senile. So, so we worked together for 17 years, eh? Yep. Unbelievable. Yes. I, I didn't even like you the first day I met you. I didn't like you either. I didn't. Even, I refused to shake your hand. No, you you shook my hand. hand like that limp little thing that you do when you and you turn away. You don't even face the person. I said I'm going to get this guy somehow. And then what happens? I end up working with you. Oh, I know. I <laughs> oh know, I god, know. I yeah. It didn't start off very well, dude. Seventeen years had a hernia every year from doing it. Just uh, carrying me on your back. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. it was good. It was oh, good. Yeah. So I hope you. Uh, I hope you continue to do uh, well. I'm sure that you will. I'm sure you'll have fun wherever you go. And uh, you know, whatever I might, I might come over with you. Who, who knows? Oh, geez, is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm your security boy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you got the money. Yeah, you're Snoopy, and you just sort of hang on to me and, and grab on. To the you know what I haven't done to you for a long while is give you the horn here. <laughs> There you go. There, that feels oh, right. God, I'm going to follow you. I will hunt you down. I will come after you, Edwards. Don't you ever do that again. There he goes. I miss doing that to him, don't you? Yeah, uh, a little bit, yeah. All right. Neil McRae, he's back. I don't know where he's back to, but I think it's Kelowna somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. 
He's out there. He is.